Definition of nutrition. Procurement of nutrients is called nutrition. Nutrients, the chemical substances that are required for the production of energy, growth and bodybuilding are called nutrients. There are two types of nutrients. Macronutrients, the nutrients which are required in large quantities are macronutrients. Example, carbohydrates and sodium. Micronutrients. The nutrients which are required in small quantities are micronutrients. Examples, vitamin, minerals like iron and molybdenum. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are group of compounds that contain carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Carbohydrates are also called sugars. They are of two types. Simple sugars and complex sugars. Simple sugars. Example, glucose, fructose, galactose, ribose, deoxyribose, etc. Complex sugars. Example, sucrose, lactose, glycogen, starch cellulose and complex carbohydrates are digested simple sugars by the enzyme amylase in the digestive system. Simple carbohydrates are absorbed easily. Essential amino acids. These are not synthesized in our body. These are supplied only through diet. There are nine essential amino acids. They are isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, valine, and histidine. Our body can synthesize these amino acids. There are 12 non-essential amino acids. They are alanine, arginine, aspartic acid, citrulline, cysteine, glutamic acid, glutamine, glycine, hydroxyproline, serine, tyrosine and proline. Proteins from animal origin have more amount of essential amino acids. These are biologically complete proteins. Examples, meat, milk and eggs. Proteins from plant sources have lesser amount of essential amino acids. These proteins are called as biologically incomplete proteins. Example, vegetables, grains and fruits, etc. Proteins and their functions. Proteins help in bodybuilding. They repair the damaged parts. They maintain tissues. They help in formation of blood and bones. Energy. One gram of protein gives 5 kilocalories of energy. One gram of proteins for 1 kg body weight is required for a day. Fats. Fats are made up of fatty acids and glycerol. Both of them contain elements like carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. There are two types of fats. Saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids. Saturated fatty acids. The saturated fatty acids are synthesized in our body. Example, fats from animal origin like milk, ghee, 
butter, eggs and cheese. Unsaturated fatty acids. Our body cannot synthesize these fatty acids. Example, linoleic acid, linolenic acid, fats from plant origin like oils of groundnut, mustard, coconut and palm etc. Fats and its functions. Fats are used to generate energy. Fats deposited under the skin helps in preserving. Lipids are required for the body heat, formation of membranes in cells. Energy. 1 gram of fat gives 9.45 kilocalories of energy. Our body requires 15 grams of fats per day. Minerals. Minerals are required for growth, repair, regulation of osmotic pressure and other vital processes in the human body. Minerals are classified into two types, major elements and trace elements. Major elements. Example, sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, chloride and phosphorus. Sodium is major cation in extracellular fluids of the body. Potassium is major cation in the cytoplasm of cell. Chloride is major anion in the body. Potassium helps in osmotic balance inside the cell and for neural activity. Trace elements manganese, selenium, molybdenum, zinc, copper and fluorine. Calcium. It is required for formation of bones, teeth, coagulation of blood, production of milk in lactating females. Sources. Milk, milk products, green leafy vegetables. We require 400 to 500 milligrams of calcium per day. Iron. It is a major component in hemoglobin. It helps to carry oxygen from lungs to tissues. Iodine. Iodine is required for the production of thyroxine. Deficiency of iodine results in hypothyroidism and goiter. That is, enlargement of thyroid gland. Iodine is present in seafoods like marine fishes, milk, meat, vegetables. To prevent iodine deficiency, iodide salt should be taken. Fluorine. Fluorine is required for the proper formation of bones and enamel on the teeth. Fluorine prevents dental caries. Excess of fluorine leads to a disease called fluorosis. In this disease, teeth become yellow and bone deformities occur. So people can't walk or stand properly. It's better to remove fluorine from drinking water to avoid fluorosis disease. Water. Water is the essential constant of life. It is universal solvent and is a medium for a number of metabolic activities. It helps in the transport of substances from one part of the body to the other part. It also helps in regulating body temperature. Balanced diet. Food having all the required nutrients in required quantities is called balanced.